first air conditioner of the year down. And uh, first make sure the heater valves are, are off. They are. And gonna lower it on down. It's January 2017. So I lowered it way down the hold button to hold it there. This one, just need at least one valve, the bottom one turned off for the hydronic line. And we definitely have no hot water cycling through, so the hydronic is turned off. All right, get up to the roof and check it out. See what's going on. All right, January 2017, first air conditioner this year. Got lots of snow on the mountains, beautiful day. Here's my unit, seems uh, nothing's running. So, gonna check and see if our contactor's pulled in. A little safer to pull the disconnect first. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I did check the breaker. Definitely hear a lot of water running. This is uh, looks like a 10 sear Goodman unit. Yeah. There's now, uh, well, I was using 13 sear. Now the requirement is 14 sear, which um, for me a lot of times all that's available is uh, uh, what do you call it? R410A for the 13 sear. But uh, I'm still using R22, I haven't switched over yet. Low side cap was a little loose. Looks like it's got a 30 slash 5. I believe these units take a 35, so that's, that's a little odd. Looking at the data plate, doesn't always tell us the uh, cap. Would be a good idea if they would do that, but they don't. So, a lot of times when I have a, a new unit, I'll write it on the side. So, really, the first thing I want to discharge the capacitor. I've already pulled the disconnect. The capacitor looks really rusty. Rusty and old. And it's got two hard start kits on it. So, definitely something was, you know, giving some grief. Take a look at our contactor. It's got a little dust cover on it, so I'm gonna remove that so we can see if our contactor is pulled in. Contactor is pulled in. Points look really good. So my guess is our capacitor has gone out. 30 slash 5, I, I don't think that's right. I think it should be a 35. I'm, and this one really doesn't look like the original capacitor. So, I think I'm going to go with a 35. And, yeah, and I'm going to be changing this one out anyway. So, I'm going to pull this. Got our yellow start wire. All up by itself, along with the hard start kits on this one. Um, I like using the hard start kits, but I like just using one of them. You know, Max is two. Um, we got our blue and red wire for the common. And again, this one has two hard start kits on it. So take those off as well. Okay, and then we got our brown fan wire on side. That's it for the capacitor here. Wow. Like, looks like it 
busted, boiled out on us, and melted. <laughs> so that's our culprit there. The patented Ultramet capacitor. It's an AMRAD capacitor. I haven't seen any of these out here yet on, on any of my units, so definitely not on Goodman units. I, I have other Goodman units. Haven't seen those. And again, my units are usually 35, so I'm going to go with 35. And I've got a 35.5 dual cap here. A little different profile. Probably going to have to rewire, remount my uh, strap. So that's not a big deal. Looks like I might get it in that last hole there. Okay. And let's see here. Go ahead and get our common in the center on this one. So I've got my red and blue purple, probably kind of in between indigo. <laughs> okay, got our fan by itself on the left on this one, and the start wires on the right on this capacitor. So the start is Herm, Hermetic compressor. It leads straight to the yellow start wire for the compressor. At least that's the colors okay. for Goodman. And then here's our fan. Other manufacturers so. use different colors, just so you know. And then if you want to add a hard start kit, which I like to, I, in my opinion, it takes some of the starting, uh, it take, draws a lot of energy when you first start the air conditioner. And in my opinion, it, it, it helps uh, ease that initial starting. So in my opinion, hard start kits are a good idea. Definitely some different schools of thought on that. But that's my opinion. And. Uh, I have definitely had a lot of units that had trouble starting and adding a hard start kit, even on fairly new units, um, just made the compressor's initial start more reliable. So that's been my experience. And I might have to redo the strapping here almost can make that but not quite boy and I still got that water running so I'm gonna have to investigate a little bit there's something strange there so my strap has another option here Let's go with that one Plenty of room. and strapped in. Push this out of the way. There's no sharp edge. Less likely to get anybody. And we're ready to rumble. Ready to start. Okay, I can put the dust cover back on. Capacitor. Just keep, minimizes how much dust goes in there. Looks like one little leg broke off, but it's in place. Oh, that water stopped running. So, 
probably with somebody in the shower. Yeah, that's good. Thought I never had something else going on. And don't really need anything else going on. Okay, and I can test my fuses. Uh, I could test the capacitor. I've got my multimeter, but there's no reason that that thing blew up. It's dead, it's gone. Um, but I can take the amp draw reading on the unit, and because they had two capacitors on it. I mean, hard start kits. Good idea to see. Two hard start kits. And uh, with the amp draw, I'm just going to clamp in one wire, uh, either the red or the black. So here's the red. Clamp it in. Oh, that's the black. And uh, put it on amps AC. And I'm ready to plug it in and start, assuming our fuse didn't blow. So the fuses may have blown. We're going to find out right now. Test it out. Uh oh. Nothing. So our fuses very well may have blown. And we can test those. A lot of times just one of them blows. So I'll set my meter to ohms and verify it's working. That one's blown. Oh, no, that one's good. And that one's blown. So, we got one good one. And one blown. Okay. So, we'll pop out a blown one. Okay. And Carry a couple of these pretty much all the time. So I'll pop that in there. Make sure it's nice and tight, doesn't move around. Everything's good there. And you can test that with the ohm meter too. And it's good. Okay, now ready to fire it up. Here goes. See what happens. And I'm gonna switch to my amp dry reading again. We've got the one wire in there. And here it goes. Hey! Pulling 5 amps. Compressor's running. Sounds good. Getting nice and chilly. Nice and cold. And we're only pulling six amps, so that's good. So I'm gonna pull my amp meter off and try the red wire. Take a look at what we got. Yeah, that's that's great. Okay. Hard to read our data plate. <laughs> it's working. That's the good part, the good news. And now I can put my cover back on. And it's definitely nice and cold. So, everything was working good before. And our, our compressor sounds great. Sounds like it's working good. We don't need two hard start kits on there. Looks like they had the, I, I believe it's the wrong size capacitor because I've seen a lot of these good news using 35. So, in the trash, take out the trash. And that's the first air conditioner repair of 2017. Looks like this was the original contactor someone replaced a long time ago. I'll make sure I take out that trash too and throw that away. Yep, back in business. Hope y'all having a good year. Hope it goes good. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for maintenance. Over and out. Putting it back together, I noticed the conduit hanging out. There's always more. Always, always, always. So a little something for preventative maintenance. I'd definitely rather Tidy fix this app. stuff in January than in July. Air conditioner is all fixed. Temperature is dropping a bit. And. Uh, Nice and cold. 
like the coil was replaced at some point on this unit. With an A-frame coil instead uh, of a slant coil. Oh no. Well, the fun never stops. Looks like I've got a leak right here in the hydronic line. So for now I can turn it turn it off, but uh, I can need to repair that. Oh boy. So that's a, a gnarly bend there. Well Yeah, looks like maybe Oh boy. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. I need to fix one problem and find another. Job security. But yeah, it's dropped a degree already, so at least our AC's gone. And got cathedral ceilings here, so there's a lot of area to cool down. Anyway. The fun continues. Yeah, I have to replace that, that piece there. Oh boy. It's kind of funny. Added, there's a, a nipple has been added so that you can use a, just a threaded connection and then the leak develops in the thing put in to uh, make life easier in the future. This the uh, irony. It is what it is. Job security. I fixed this air conditioner and notice I have a different problem. I have a tiny leak on the hydronic line. Right there. Oh boy. I need to replace that deal. It's always more. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? Job security. On this for now, just turn it off. can probably just replace the, the line with a regular type line. I should replace this one too because it's got so much corrosion on it. Alright, that's another story. Yep, job security. If I get any more job security, I'm going to start feeling job insecurity. If you find these videos helpful, a one-time donation would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you uh, support me on Patreon, it helps me do what I do. There are some bonus perks for Patreon supporters. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Till I could stay no longer What sorts of things did you meet with on your journey? With 
my life You did well, my friend, to escape the clutches But there is no contentment in that lifestyle So make yourself to God and resist the devil And the devil will flee That I met a man named Adam who told me I should dwell in his land. I asked him what sort of house he kept. He told me at his table all the best was so And that if I wanted, I could even marry his three daughters. Lost in the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. At first I was inclined to go with him, but then I changed my mind. For I perceived that he would make me his slave, so I got me up to leave. Told me he would send a man to kill me And so I left that place in a hurry I made it out the door And halfway up the hill of difficulty I was overtaken by a man He hit me to the ground And proceeded to whip me Have I done something wrong? He said this beating is because of your secret liking for Adam. I cried, Have mercy and spare my life. I think that this man, he would have killed me if not the one who interceded on my behalf. He told him. Stop. Who was this man that told him to stop? I didn't know who it was at first, but then I saw the holes in his hands.